I've been charged with practicing medicine without a license. It's a very grave charge. Am I aware that it is unlawful to practice medicine without a medical license? Well, yes, sir, I am. Am I aware that running a medical clinic without the proper licensing can place both me and the public in a great deal of danger? It was a home a clinic, sir. You say that if I am admitting patients and treating them, then physical location is irrelevant. Sir, will you, will you define treatment for me? Treatment could be defined as providing care to a patient who is seeking medical attention. I can say that I just live with several people who come and go as they please, and I offer them whatever help I can. But you want to know if I have or have not been treating patients at my ranch. Every person, everyone who comes to the ranch is a patient, yes. And every person who comes to the ranch is also a doctor. Every person who comes to the ranch is in need of some form of physical or mental help. They're patients. But also every person who comes to the ranch is in charge of helping someone else whether that's cooking for them, cleaning them, or even a simple task is listening. That makes them doctors. I use that term broadly, gentlemen, because it's not a doctor, someone who helps someone else. When does the term doctor get treated with such reverence? You know, as, oh, right this way, Dr. Smith, or, oh, excuse me, Dr. Scholl, what wonderful foot pads, or, Oh, pardon me, Dr. Patterson, but your flatulence has no odor. At what point in history did a doctor become more than a trusted and learned friend who visited and treated the ill? Now you want to know if I've been practicing medicine. Well, if this means opening your door to those in need, to those in pain, caring for them, listening to them, or even, a, even applying a cold cloth until a fever breaks. If this is practicing medicine, if this is treating a patient, then I'm as guilty as charged, sir. And you, you ask, if, what if one of my patients had died? Well, what's wrong with death, sir? What are we so mortally afraid of? Why can't death be treated with a certain amount of humanity and dignity and decency and God forbid, maybe even humor? Death is not the, en the enemy here, gentlemen. If we want to fight a disease, let's fight one of the most terrible diseases of all, indifference. And I've sat in your schools and I've heard people lecture on transference and professional distance. Transference is inevitable, sir. Every human being has an impact on another. But why don't we want that for a patient-doctor relationship? That's why I, I, I've listened to your lectures and I believe they're wrong. A doctor's mission is to not only prevent death, but to improve the quality of life. You know, you, you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you, you win, no matter what the outcome. Now, here today is a room full of medical students. Don't, don't let them anesthetize you. Don't let them numb you out to the miracle of life. Always be in awe of the glorious mechanism of the human body. Let that be the focus of your studies and not the quest for grace, which will give you no idea as to what kind of doctor you will become. And don't wait till you're on the war to get your humanity back. 
Start your interviewing skills now. Start talking to strangers. Talk to your friends. Talk to raw numbers. Talk to everyone. And cultivate friendships with those amazing people in the back of the room. Nurses that can teach you. They've been with people every day. They've weighed through blood and shit. And they got a wealth of knowledge to share with you. And so do the professors that you respect. The ones who aren't dead from the heart up. Share their compassion and let that be contagious. Sir, I want to be a doctor with all my heart. I want to, I want to become a doctor to serve others. Because of that, I... I lost everything. I've also gained everything. I've shared the lives of patients and the medical staff at the hospital. I've, I've laughed with them, cried with them. This is what I want to do with my life. As God is my witness, no matter what your decision today, I will still become the best damn doctor the world has ever seen. Now you, you have the ability to prevent me from graduating. You can keep me from getting the title and the white coat, but you can't control my spirit, gentlemen. You can't keep me from learning. You can't keep me from studying. So you have a choice. You can either have me as a, as a professional colleague, passionate. Or you can have me as an outspoken outsider, still adamant. Either way, I'll probably still be viewed as a thorn. But I promise you one thing. I am a thorn that will never go away. Is that all? I certainly hope not.